Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, to those who have not uh, joined us yet, what we like to do is read uh, a psalm, whether that's a whole psalm, like one chapter, or just a few verses. And then after, we like to just pray those same words up to the Lord, um, because God gave us the psalms so that we could give them back to Him. So today I'm going to be reading from Psalm uh, 84, 1 and 2. And I will go ahead and just read it to you guys and then pray over it. And I would love for you guys to join me. So in Psalms uh, 84 verses 1 and 2, it says, Oh, lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, it faints for the courts of the Lord. And my heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Let's go ahead and pray that. God, we come before your throne of grace, and we are so overwhelmed that we, God, have access to you through Jesus Christ. And I just want to thank you for this psalm, because God, through this psalm, we are reminded of who is our first love, who has our utmost devotion, God, who we are committed to. That so often in this world, God, we are so quick to be so distracted by all the things we have to do that we will forget who are, who is our Lord. And so thank you, God, that we are reminded that our soul, our mind, our body is to sing for you, is to long for you, is to be devoted to you, Lord. You are our first and most important. You have all of our life. We have given our allegiance to you. And so I just pray that, God, in times where we might be distracted, in times that we might feel overwhelmed, in times that we are just going about our day, may we not forget who we said is our Savior and our Lord. And that, God, our soul and our mind and our body would sing and long to be in your presence all day long. And I pray this in your name. Amen. Well, guys, I know that was a little quicker than usual, but I hope it has encouraged you. Um, and I hope that you will just take the time to meditate on these words that your heart and your mind and guys, your body would sing praises to the Lord and think about what he has done for you and how he is deserving of your complete devotion every day. Have a great day, guys.